Hey guys, what's up, what's good? Welcome back to another video. So today I decided to just do a full face of nothing new. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this face look today. In this video, it is just a wee bit chatty but nothing too dramatic. So if you're wanting to just see what I use or what I did today, then please keep watching. Also, if you have not done so yet, then also subscribe. That way you can see all the future videos right in your subscription feed. And it is also free. Last but not least, if you would be as so kind to either give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down or whatever, leave me a comment, something. Let me know that you're watching the video. I'll greatly appreciate that. So if you want to see what I did today, then just keep watching. Alright guys, so welcome, welcome, and I'm starting off with concealer again, and this is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer, which I do have in the shade Fair Rose. So I'll just apply that to my under eye area and then a little bit on the nose. Alright, and then I'm just blending that in, of course. So, for today's video, I did just get out of work. I did pull some overtime today. So, I am <clears throat> So, I'm kind of tired. I've already had a shower and <clears throat> and I'm just now going ahead and having an energy drink to try to I'll last a few more hours to maybe get out of video here and then also get the kids in the shower and hopefully bed because I do have to work again tomorrow. Now for foundation today I am using the Milani Conceal and Perfect, the 2-in-1 foundation in the shade Porcelain, so this will probably be light for me and I think it's like a thicker, it's like a thicker foundation so it's kind of a little bit dry on my skin. I know like a lot of people with oily skin seem to really like this, but it's not my ultimate favorite. Right. So with work, it was super busy like this whole month of March but it has recently like this week so far died down and now it's not as busy so I'm glad about that also like with working from home like working from home is great and everything, but it kind of sucks when, like when it warms up now that it's spring and everybody, everywhere else is like out, look how, look how light that is. Oh my gosh. So everybody else is like outside enjoying the weather, you know, things to do, and you're just kind of watching everybody outside while you're stuck in the house working. Look how light this foundation is. This is insanity. So for powder, I'm still using the Too Faced Peach Perfect powder. I almost pulled a banana powder because I had a feeling that this foundation was going to look this light on me, but I was just like, I do need to use this powder and I'll just adjust the color of my face with something else. Alright, and then for bronzer today, I am using the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Bronze It. This one, I believe, is in the shade Fair. Is that what it's called? Yeah, Light. It's called Light. So I'm just going to go ahead and 
use this to hopefully bring a little color to my face. I absolutely love this bronzer. It is a huge pan of bronzer, but the tone of this is perfect for me. It's a very like neutral tone bronzer. And it's a drugstore price, so it's affordable. I would absolutely recommend this bronzer. So the second downside to working from home is that you don't have anybody to talk to. And I thought before I started working from home that I wouldn't even mind that. That I would love the fact that I don't have to travel back and forth to work and like get fully dressed and all these other things. And could like live without the people aspect of it. But honestly, working from home is so much more boring. But, don't get me wrong, I still like the fact that I don't have to drive anywhere. Or that I, you know, don't really have to get fully dressed. Now, for blush today, I'm going to use the Cover FX, the Monochromatic Blush Duo. And Mohav Mauve. I think that's how you pronounce that. I'm not really sure. And to be real, I think I'm the only person that prefers the shimmer blush side of these duos over the matte. So, like, I'm going in with the shimmer version. But I think they just give that nice, like, glowy blush look that everybody is wanting for, like, this spring and this year. I mean, look, that's just that blush alone. It looks like I have highlighter on already. These blushes are very beautiful, and the hype died down on these super quick, and I really have no idea why. I'm going to have to seriously rearrange my makeup because I literally still cannot find anything. There's a different blush I wanted to use and not that one, but I couldn't find it. Then I wanted to use a different highlighter, couldn't find that. So what I'm going to use today is going to be the Becca. It's one of the Light Chaser highlights. This one is in the shade Amethyst Flashes Geode. Also, Becca is closing its doors. I can't say that I'm surprised about that, to be honest, because I feel like in the last few years they haven't really released much, and what they did release just seemed to kind of just be repeats of basically other stuff that they already had out. So I'm not really surprised. Their products were good in my opinion, but I just feel like maybe their creative side, their creative team, their marketing design team, whatever, you know, they probably could have had an improvement and then maybe we could still have some Becca, I don't know. And then I am going to just prime my eyes a little bit. Again, I did my face first. Why do I keep doing that? And I'm going to use the NYX eyeshadow base in the shade Skin Tone. I just put that right in my eyelashes. Lovely. Don't we love that for me? Okay. Alright, so it is time to pull out the eyeshadow and today I am using the Tri Palette by Juvia's Place, so it is their little nine pan green eyeshadow palette. So it looks like that. Beautiful colors, huge pan sizes. Actually, I think right now this is probably my favorite Juvia's Place palette currently. I mean, I like all the ones that I have, but I just feel like I gravitate towards this one more, or the most. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in, the, in with the shade Tootsie, Tootsie. And I am just like blending that into the crease. I would like for this to be like nicely pigmented and bright and really showcase this color because it is gorgeous. So does anybody else have a kid who wants to make YouTube videos? Like, I don't know, be a YouTuber I guess? I've seen like a lot of people on my Facebook talk about their kids wanting to be YouTubers and my kid is four years old and like wants to make YouTube videos and I'm just kind of like what are you gonna make videos about do you even know how to turn on a camera but no like for real to be honest like YouTube in of itself is just so like if you think about it it's just so weird because Like, I mean, I guess home videos have always been around because if anybody can remember watching, like, America's Funniest Home Videos, that was, like, a TV show and people loved it. It was great. Not gonna lie, I watched it every week. And I would have competitions, not like, not like competitions, but I guess, like, bets with my dad on which video would place number one. And... Whoever won, if one of us was the winner, um, we got an extra special, like, an, you know, an extra treat after dinner. So, you know, an extra snack or an extra, like, piece of cake or something. But, like, YouTube, home videos, social media is just, like, the big thing right now. Um, children want to be, want to make YouTube videos you know, people want to do it as their career, like make home videos as their career. Um, my son sometimes when he's playing, if you pay attention to like him playing, he will like, while he's like playing, how many times can I say that? He will like say like the people he watches on YouTube, like their little intros, he will like say their intros like welcome to my channel or subscribe and I'm just like okay great. YouTube has finally made its way into children's like imagination. Pretend to play. Alright so I think this is a little more dramatic than I expected but like with this color every time I use it I it always turns out way more dramatic than I expected it to be or intended it to be because once you put it on it just looks so beautiful and I just keep on going alright so I haven't tried this before so I don't know how this will look but I'm gonna go in with the shade Aromo I believe maybe is how you pronounce that correctly it is that yellow toned orange and I'm just taking a pencil brush and I'm going to place that basically into, like, directly into the crease. And it's also looking like I'm going to have to build that up for it to be noticeable. You guys know what I forgot to use? I forgot to put on face primer. I do that a lot. At this point, I probably shouldn't even own face primer because I always always forget to put it on like I'll prime not prime I'll well I guess I'll prep prime my skin with like face moisturizer stuff like that and then I guess because I do that I just completely forget the actual face primer and like I never put it on all right and then I'll just show you because it's gonna be hard for me to explain this color but I'm next going in with the shade, this light's so bright I can't even see, Cuba, Cuba, it is that shade right there, 
Can you all see it sparkling? So I'm going to pick this color up on a brush and I am just going to put this all over the lid. This color is like a blue-green shimmer. And then for the inner corner, I'm going in with the shade Coro, which is basically that highlight shade. And then I'm just placing that into, like I said, just pretty much the inner corner. So I'm also just going to pop this like right here at the arch of my brow. Also... This one never has an arch, so I have to guess <laughs> where to put it for it to be even. Alright, and so for eyeliner, again I'm using the Milani Stay Put Eyeliner in the black shade. This is where it all usually goes wrong, trying to... Put stuff so close to my actual eyeball that it gets into my contact and then I can't see and then I can't finish my makeup without it looking horrendous and then for the lower lash line I am going to put some color on the lower lash line I'm going to use the shade San or San and um, which is that like green that matte green blue but I think it's got more green in it than the other shade so I am just heavily applying that to the lower lash line all right and so to give the lower lash line more of a pop I'm gonna go in with the shade Maasai which is that almost like yellow green chartreuse, chartreuse I can't say that apparently color and I'm just putting that on the inner portion of the lower lash line and I'm glad nothing's went wrong yet so maybe I can see to put the full lash on and they'll stay on and look like lashes okay and then for lips, today I'm using the Dose of Colors Liquid Lip in the shade Quark. Alright guys, so these bangs have been a hot mess today, but hopefully you have enjoyed this video. And if you did, again, please thumbs up, thumbs down, something. And if you're not already, go ahead and subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.